Macros help you manage various programming tasks, such as opening and closing a form. You can create macros to automate a set of actions and add functionality to your database tables, forms, and reports. You don't need to remember complex programming syntax to create macros. Macro Designer provides tools and commands that help you create macros easily. The Add New Action List in Macro Designer provides a list of predefined actions that you can use to create a macro. Let's select an action from the Add New Action List. You can also type an action that you want to use in the Add New Action box. Notice that a group of arguments is displayed for the selected action. You can now specify arguments for the action. The arguments determine how the action executes in the macro. You can add multiple actions to a macro. Let's add another action. Now specify the arguments for the new action. You've created a macro that includes two actions. In Macro Designer, you can also edit the macro that you've created. You can change the order in which actions execute, delete an action, or modify arguments for an action. After specifying the actions and arguments, you can save the macro. You can specify a suitable name for the macro and save it. If you want to run a macro when a database opens, specify the name of the macro as AutoExec. You can now run the macro that you've created. Notice that the macro executes the actions that you've defined. In this demonstration, you have seen how to create and edit a macro.